What's going on, y'all? When we back in the lab, it's been a minute. The No Goofy Home team just coming home, just touching back down. I'm touching back down. They had No Goofy locked in the cage in the county, but I'm back. Yeah, we got a story, man. T.I. T.I. or T.I. looking like almost get gunned down for some wings in Atlanta. I don't know what y'all doing in the, in the A, but y'all boys acting like y'all Chicago right now. Shouts out to the niggas who survived that shootout at that wing dinner. Get your dinner. This the no goofy. Home of the no goofy. Rest in peace, big cuz. Why, why are you walking up on me? Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. Two men are recovering in the hospital after a shooting inside a popular wing spot in DeKalb County. That surveillance video you just saw, so, saw show the wild moments as the men open fire inside the Atlanta's best wings off Covington Highway. Fox News' Eric Perry is live with the latest on this story. If you in Atlanta, stay away from the best wings. Your last buffalo wing you might eat might be that bullet, that hot bullet penetrating your skull or your cranium. Stay away from them best wings because they show you. They made the best wings. Yeah, Courtney, we do want to warn you that video, although edited, still can be very graphic for some. Take a look. You can still see the aftermath of where two men were shot inside. I'm told it's all because of just a couple of dollars. <laughs> It's something that could be from a Western movie. Several men open fire inside a popular wing spot in DeKalb. This video shows the moments. Police say a quick argument led to a lifelong impact inside the Atlanta's best wings near the intersection of Covington Highway and DeKalb Medical Parkway early Wednesday morning. Jake Kim's wife owns the business. He walks us through the dramatic video. Just this a few dollars. Kim believes it started over money. You see the man walk in and approach another man already inside. That's when they pull out guns and begin to carelessly shoot. Later in the video, you see a victim on the floor with his gun still out. The other man involved comes in, appears to stomp him, runs, and that's when more shots are fired. Then this video shows the man coming back inside to grab what I'm told is a cell phone and is shot on the way out. All of this happening while workers and others are inside. I just happened to pull up here to get some hot wings maybe two hours ago and there was a guy laying on the ground. I just walked in to see if the wings were whatever, and the guy told me to get out the store, and next thing I know, police just swarmed the place. Mario Marshall lives nearby. If he was there minutes earlier, he could have been caught in the crossfire. I don't know. We gotta do better. That's all I can say. Um, just going to get something to eat late night, you know what I mean? This ain't what you want to go through. Yeah, that's definitely not what he ordered with his wings there. We do want to take you back out here live. You can see the person on top. Looks like they're changing out the lights to a better light. It's a story and a lesson to be learned from this situation. Never, ever, never, ever go to the best wings in Atlanta and never, ever leave out your house without telling your family you love them. It might be your last time, your last wing, your last buffalo. Shouts out to the No Goofy Home team, man. Y'all subscribe, support, and push the motive. Y'all, No Goofy.